Hello, my name is Andreas and I'm training to be a professional wrestler for one year and a half so far. I have learned I have learned a lot of things, but every time is something new and interesting. You know, it's like every other job with your daily program, but in wrestling is more tough and more difficult than you think. Yeah, it's so difficult. But I love it. But anyway, do you want to know how I got in this world of professional wrestling? Let's go back in time then. Oh, who is this beautiful baby? Of course it's me. Who else can I be? Yep. Two of my pictures when I was a kid and I was looking beautiful. Uh, I'm still beautiful. Uh, just kidding. Yep. Let's go back in time. Here is the guy, it's my cousin, which makes me fall in love with wrestling when I was five years old. And he put me to watch wrestling and my first match was Rey Mysterio against Big Show Backlash 2003 and I was amazed. I was amazed guys. Imagine guys. Imagine guys to be five years old and watch Rey Mysterio against Big Show, the tall, the, the small guy against the, the the giant, it was amazing for a five years old children to watch all of these moves. And I was amazed so quickly, I fell in love with wrestling and from that day on I wanted what I want to do with my life. I fell in love with it. It was the only thing that I was care about and I knew that in school, uh, all of the stuff, I wasn't like the other guys. I wanted to be a wrestler and I was looking for my opportunity for many, many, many years. And I get this opportunity after, I don't know, 17 years. I'm 22 now. I was waiting f since five years old. Imagine, guys. Just imagine this. So now, guys, you know my story. You know how I get in this world. You know how I become a fan, a big, big, big fan of wrestling. And if you know me, basically this is for my friends out there, you know who they are. You know that uh, one word can't describe me and it's wrestling, 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 nothing else and I believe this is not a bad thing, it's a good thing because you know what you want from your life and you're going to achieve it if you stay focused but the most important thing is that I want to inspire the guys and the people or the children basically everyone who have their dreams and they believe that it's not impossible, no change that is it possible all you have to do is to wait and find and find the opportunity like I find the opportunity like if I didn't come to England for studies I would never have this opportunity just it's the timing it's the timing and hold on to that dream don't let go just hold on and one day you never know to become a champion just like that just be patient Keep going and believe in yourself. And the most important thing is, don't hear what the other says to you. Most of the people, oh, you're doing the fake sport, or oh, because your dream is difficult, you're not gonna make it. No, guys. If they don't have anything to achieve in their lives, it's not your problem. You know what you want from your life. Don't let them make you go crazy or change your mind. Never, never. Hold on to that dream. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching the chapter 1, I show you many stuff and I hope you find it interesting because for me it's interesting to share my story with some other people that they have a dream and they want to chase it and especially in my country I'm from Cyprus, there is no wrestling schools or stuff like that so probably I'm the only one with another friend that I know that we are doing wrestling and we try to achieve our dream so for me that was my childhood dream to be to achieve something that i'm going to be the first one in cyprus and i'm trying to do it 
and I'm very proud of it and I will continue to make my friends and family proud and yeah so the next video the chapter 2 it's gonna we are gonna talk about my inspirations in wrestling uh, my psychology in the ring what my first day was like and many many other stuffs so thank you cheers <laughs>